The following is a selected video from masterthecontent.com where you will find an extensive video library of lectures for a variety of standardized admission tests. We offer over 600 hours of detailed video lectures for a multitude of standardized tests. Use our interactive in-lecture table of contents to find specific topics of interest. Work through numerous in-lecture examples to help you internalize concepts. To learn more, visit masterthecontent.com. Your career, our passion. Next, let's consider how the object's distance from the lens impacts the image formed. For our uh, current example here in figure five, in which the object's distance lies outside two times the focal length, the image formed is always located between two times the focal point and the focal point on the opposite side of the lens. Now, if the rays actually converge at the image's location, as we see here, the image is real. Meaning if we placed, say, uh, a piece of paper at the image location, the object would be projected. If the rays didn't pass through the image's location, then the image would be virtual. And we'll see an example of a virtual image with lenses shortly. Also take note, when a lens forms a real image, the object and image are on opposite sides of the lens. What else can we say about the image when the object is at a distance greater than two times the focal length? If the object is erect, then the image is inverted, meaning it's upside down. Lastly, relative to the object, the image is reduced in size. That means then the magnification number has an absolute value that is less than 1. Recall, magnification is simply the ratio of image height to object height. Okay, let's go ahead now and summarize the, uh, this slide for when the object is located beyond 2 times the focal length. The image is going to be real, inverted, and reduced. Next, let's take a look at what type of image is formed when the object's distance lies between the focal length and two times the focal length. And we'll do that on the next slide. If we take a look here at figure six, 